today I will be presenting my reputation speech on um, my reputation speech in response to Michael's claim of tax speech on digital piracy. Uh, his main claim is that digital piracy is an insignificant effect on the music industry, which is ir irrelevant because digital piracy is illegal. He argues that the majority of people downloading music for free are not potential sales. Artists themselves do not benefit much from the sales of albums, digital or not. But independent artists were never taken into account, even though many of them uh, get their entire livelihood from the music they create. Um, lastly, he argues that the only people who should be suffering from the effects of digital piracy are record labels, when in fact the United States economy suffers directly because of it. The effect, uh, the effect piracy has on the music industry is irrelevant because people who are downloading music illegally are breaking the law. No matter if it hurts the artists or not, the main issue that lies with the digital piracy is the fact that it is illegal. Digital piracy lies under the, uh, under the copyright law in Title 17 of the United States Code. The law states that anyone who violates any of the exclusive rights of the copyright owner um, or who imports copies to the uh, United States is an infringer of the copyright. So in Boston University, a graduate student um, admitted to illegally downloading and sharing uh, music to a federal jury and he was only ordered to pay $675,000 to four record labels for downloading and distributing 30 songs. Um, but he could have been ordered to pay up to $4.5 million because the law says that uh, companies could have received up to $150,000 per track. Um, this case shows that when it comes to the law, digital, digital piracy has a, a significant impact on the music industry. Uh, Michael also made a claim that artists themselves do not benefit much from the sales of albums, digital or not. He told us about Taylor Swift, Miley Cyrus, the two famous artists who make millions of music, but did not mention anything about independent artists. Uh, many independent artists put their entire savings into the production of an album, and when those albums are pirated, uh, they're losing their livelihood uh, and people are essentially stealing their hard work. The CEO of the Copyright Alliance states that when independent artists are pirated, they lose essential income. They lose confidence and the lost income prevents them from reinvesting re uh, in their creative work. Even though famous artists have higher um, income than independent artists do, a loss in sales of albums uh, still affects their income. Um, so lastly, Michael claims that um, the only people who should be suffering from the effects of digital piracy uh, are record labels. The fact that the um, United States economy suffers greatly from digital piracy. According to Institute for Policy Innovation, the United States economy loses $12.5 billion annually, loses 71,060 jobs, and of those jobs, 26,860 jobs would have been added to the music industry if it wasn't for digital piracy. As a consequence of piracy, the United States federal, state, and local governments lose minimum of $422 million in tax revenues annually. To say that the record label, which is paying to produce the album, is solely affected by the piracy is a false statement. From the statistics stated, our government is being affected along with singers, songwriters, uh, recording artists, auto engineers, and many other mu music industry workers. Uh, by refuting Michael's claim, we could see that digital piracy is significant to the music industry and in the, and the United States. Digital piracy falls under the copyright infringement, making it illegal, which can cost up to $150,000 per song. And independent artists are affected greatly when the songs they create are pirated. Uh, and also, um, lastly, the economy becomes affected because of uh, digital piracy. Thank you.
All right. By the way, that was also nicely presented. I did appreciate your, you know, speaking to the audience and trying to make the point. Um, I thought you outlined what the advocates' claims were pretty clearly. Uh, you have kind of this counterclaim that you're making that, in essence, says that whether or not it uh, hurts an artist is not relevant because the issue is the more important issue or the relevant issue is that it's illegal. And uh, I, since its legality is is not in dispute, the only question is: is there an impact? To, its, uh, to the action. I'm not sure that that's the best argument there. I appreciate the notion that you're suggesting that, um, that they're looking at the wrong issue, uh, but uh, ultimately this information is going to be used to suggest or justify um, either changing the laws or keeping the laws, and so we do need to know what the impact of the action is. Uh, I thought you had a nice example to show what the impact is on an individual who was caught uh, uh, violating copyright laws, and you've got that particular example and how much money was involved for that one individual. Uh, that doesn't really dispute anything that the advocate said, except that uh, individuals pay a high cost for the you know, they, their answer would be that, you know, great, so some student at a college gets $675,000 in fines for listening to 30 songs that a record company gets millions of dollars over. So I, I think you maybe don't make an argument there that's going to be as effective. I thought your better arguments were that there are impacts on the artists and that there are impacts on uh, the rest of the economy. And by the way, why are record companies exempt from being evaluated for what the economic impact is? Because you have good information that talks about the number of jobs that we're talking about here, talks about what the tax base is, and I thought that, that was all very good counter evidence on those particular points. You're not always discussing the um, way the advocate, advocate <coughs> excuse me, the advocate proved their <coughs> particular points, but you do have good counterclaims on most of those points. All right, we're going to stop here because we need. To